Boom, boom, back to the rip for last. It's how to survival today. We return it today. Boom. We are getting ourselves an amazing look into the gas station. This was actually posted earlier today over on the Discord. We're going to be going over this. We're going to be going to the convoy and, of course, stopping things off with a super dope raid. As per usual, we got our hands on a little bit more C4. But without further ado, hello, survivors. We decided to start a new section on Thursdays called Under Development, meaning every Thursday we will be getting a sneak peek and a look into some location or some feature of last day on earth that is under development but that's not even the juicy part of today in this section we will tell you about updates that are in the early stages of development or still far from their final implementation we often tell you that the development of the ldoe is going in several directions at a time this means that apart from the upcoming motel our team is working on a number of future updates thinking over long-range plans of the development and a host of other things today starting the new section as a test we will show you the first images of the gas station one of the locations on our updated roadmap later we will reveal more interesting developments till then have a good time and what we are seeing here is the first of three images that we are going to be breaking down and all the wonderfulness that they do bring but long story short in case you guys don't know the timeline for the gas station to be added we should be seeing the motel sometime this week or next week that is the most realistic time frame because after that update we are getting the halloween slash dia de los muertos update which pretty much has to happen at some point end of october mid to late october and usually there's at least a week's time between updates so it's coming we're right in that prime time for the motel update to be released and when that happens you know we're gonna be all over it and have some fun with that but that's when the motel and the timeline for the halloween updates but immediately after the halloween update we have this gas station updated slated and actually on the roadmap there was a little note in that block for the update not just the update but also brought up with something with motorcycles and i think that's exactly what we are seeing right here because in case you guys don't know from some of the earlier images we got a look at regarding the gas station there was actually it was revealed that this garage that they're actually showcasing here this is the garage that is going to be next to the gas station is actually belonging to a fella named jack so you like it was kind of like vandalized a little bit and like fortified kind of in an apocalyptic fashion and one of those fortifications slash modifications was actually the sign saying Jack's Garage. And what we are seeing here is our very first look at pretty much what has to be Jack. And by the looks of it, Jack is not going to try to kill us. He looks like a pretty friendly dude. He's over there chilling by his desk. I don't think if this was a battle of some kind, he'd be, well, all alone. He'd probably be a little bit more kitted or something. So by the looks of it, Jack is going to be some kind of an NPC that either gives us some form of quest or honestly what i think adds up very well is i think he might be able to help us with our motorcycles now this could come in a couple ways shapes forms or fashions from what we're seeing here so obviously it looks like he has his own motorcycle he's a fan of the chopper it's a pretty dope thing i can't blame him i like mine it's very helpful for a lot of things but i think given the fact that it's a garage there are a couple of main things that this can be adding in so either he's going to like i said give us quests that maybe you know we could do to get different chopper parts you know because after the survival guide finishes there won't really be a bona fide way to get those chopper parts and maybe that's going to be one of the roles that he does play he will allow us the ability to like acquire certain chopper parts maybe we could trade with him for the gas tank maybe we do a quest line with him and he kind of rewards us with those motorcycle parts because that would then make sense why they included that motorcycle point in the update plan right next to and in the same block as the gas station and on top of that i do think that there's a second kind of role that he could very well be playing because the gas station is slated to be a little bit more of a ender game kind of like a little bit later game area than the motel and with that there's a, even a chance like they're they're adding in a lot of new locations over here but they've yet to add a location to the north and they i think it's only logical for them to do that especially with how much easier they are making the motorcycle to get bless up for that i hope every single one of you guys get your hands on a motorcycle because that's kind of the dream scenario but i I, I think what like it might be needed to actually use a motorcycle to get to this garage to get to this gas station in the first place that makes sense it's a gas station it's along a road you probably want to fuel up something along those lines so what if you can actually roll your chopper into this man's shop and 
upgrade it. Now you might be like, Star, you madman, but think of it this way. We've actually seen something similar happen over in Grim Soul Survival, Kafir's other game that they are actively working on. And what that is doing is it actually lets you level up your horse, which is kind of like their version of your chopper and unlock like more slots, like unlock, I, I don't know about better fuel efficiency, but that actually had me thinking that like, okay, it's not out of the world for us to be able to level up and or upgrade our form of transportation. I can't train my motorcycle to be better, but I think upgrading it is very easily within the realm of possibility. Having it within a garage with a specialist like Jack, who obviously has his own garage going here and a pretty big love for motorcycles, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for him to actually be able to upgrade our chopper in different ways, whether that be expanded storage or, I don't know, maybe increase its fuel efficiency, maybe I'd give us the ability to ride it in maps, because we know that that's going to be coming to Grim Soul at some point, the ability to ride your horse in an area, and maybe we'll be able to do something like that with the chopper here, but those are just a couple of things that I noticed and I wanted to comment on, given the fact that we are seeing an NPC that must be Jack at this point, but in addition to that, you guys can actually see a couple of other things over, like he's got a couple of things scattered throughout his like shelves and whatnot, a lot of toolkits, it looks like maybe there's a chance that he might have something to do with the metal cutter because you're actually seeing a couple of those like saw blade like blades lying around that look exactly like the type of blades that we've seen from teases of the metal cutter so that's just a little something that i wanted to make note of but that kind of does it for the first picture that really gives us a whole ton of information and i cannot wait to encounter jack the npc over there but then boom over here we are seeing the second photo which is just kind of like a little bit more of a full like comprehensive look into the gas station and how that is going to be being in case you guys don't know how it's going to work the gas station is kind of going to be positioned to the left of the garage they're going to be right next to each other and as you guys are seeing the gas station is not going to be crazy huge it's going to have a couple of gas pumps out in front a car crashed into it from the side and most likely some okay loot within but i think the big pull is more and more information is coming out on this gas station is going to be jack and whatever he can provide us over in that little like get like not gas station but in that little like garage that he's running running and what that might mean in the grand scheme of things and of course maybe being able to siphon and steal up a little bit of gas i, I feel like that's pretty logical because it's a gas station dude you're telling me there isn't gas anywhere at a gas station that's uh, -uh. There, there most likely is and then boom here we are seeing the third and final photo that was posted which is a comprehensive look over at jack's garage you can even see him chilling over there with that light on him and well what we are seeing if you guys haven't seen it yet actually in that lower right hand corner slash like eastern corner of the base where those sandbags are there's actually a mounted machine gun right there so uh, just a little thing little thing to be careful of little thing to note of maybe we'll be able to get on that ourselves or maybe the first time we run around jack's gonna think we're an enemy trying to attack him and he's gonna be shooting us from that turret but either way that's the first time we've seen like an unmanned turret that makes me think that maybe we'll be able to man it in some point maybe a quest potentially that we could be doing for jack is to like to fend off or like protect the garage while hopping on that thing and taking down some enemies but this 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 photo also reveals a couple of random things which is how are we going to get into here you know because the door over to the left is pretty barricaded off like if we manage to get through that maybe with the use of a crowbar to pry those puppies open there's another doorway from that little leftern area that leads into the main garage but other than that the only other real thing the real way in would have to be that kind of like dented up little garage doorway and that's kind of where the motorcycle comes into play i wonder if there's gonna be some way to open that up so you can actually haul your motorcycle into the garage it looks like there's a very deliberate space actually just a whole ton of room right there in the middle of the garage i think that room it makes sense for you to be able to pull your chopper into there and then for jack to be able to go to work out there's a lot of things kind of playing into that angle but uh that's gonna wrap it up for the information that we got to share today i absolutely cannot wait to hear what y'all got to say about it in that comment section down below whether that come in the form of you guys' own thoughts maybe what you think jack might be doing maybe what you think that turret has going with it what might be popping off over at that location in general where, whether you guys have some thoughts on my thoughts any of that type of jazz and reminder that a comment is going to put your third of the way it's the way you turn down at two such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that much you went on today's video y'all go ahead and enter it on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and zat 
will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information not to mention that update gameplay as soon as it comes out because we got a motel update very close within our future so to make sure you guys are prepared for that we'll be doing anything and everything possible in that trying out everything we can showing it off to its fullest extent so you know what to expect and you can come prepared not to mention all the videos that it will allow you to go ahead and enter in on for the giveaway because that notification bell make sure that you stay in the loop with every single video going up and of course we also have those super dope survival games we're checking out on the channel we're getting one of the first people to check out probably one of the biggest survival games of the year hello raiders y'all got some good quests there but uh we have a little revenge raid we're gonna be going on today and actually before we head out we got a couple of rather couple of repairs i want to make over here because we did suffer some damages so just make sure that we what are you attacking dog what are these dogs go where's this dog go i don't know dude our dogs are protecting us though so shouts out to them i hear him attacking at something every once in a while nipping at something's heels oh i think he murdered a random zombie that was chilling over there shouts out to you pup appreciate the protection but yeah we're checking out we're one of the first people to be able to check out fallout 76 with gameplay that we are going the bejesus over and we're going to be going over for a couple more days not to mention the beta and full version of that game coming out very soon we got seven days to die getting a huge update not to mention all the dope updates that are coming last day on earth's way it's a great time to be a survival gamer and to enjoy survival games and goodbye healer okay i guess he doesn't enjoy survival games that dude as soon as i mentioned him just sprinted off into the sunset but uh yeah it's just a great time and hopefully y'all stick around because i can't wait to have a favorite fantastic time with all of y'all because i uh, i'm a sucker for survival games maybe a little bit of battle royale here or there but survival games that is my stuff baby and last day on earth to be very specific is also my type of stuff but currently this destroyed convoy here is going to be my thing oh and i fed my pups my pups are coming along for the ride today lads so we're gonna go ahead and spread a little bit of shotgun rain upon these raiders and i love the fact that our dog is not interested even a little bit in helping us that is, that is great to hear also we're rocking a pretty dope looking uniform today dude you know what i noticed the raider armor with the football helmet Dude, you gotta admit, something about it looks really dope. So I love the getup that we're rocking today. It makes me look, I don't know, I think I look like a G. Maybe I look like a total nerd or a doofus or whatever. But you know what? It's, I think I look like a G. And that's what matters. And also the fact that I have shotgun rain. So if someone disagrees with me, maybe with their bullets, uh, I can disagree with them. With my many... Where did you come from? Jesus! I'm just over here trying to peacefully loot a Hummer that you may or may not have caused to crash, and this is what you do? So disrespectful. No respect anymore nowadays. Jeez. Luis, let's go ahead and heal up and get our food back up and uh, only resort to the med kits if need be. You, you can see our boots are about to break, so maybe I'll go ahead. Oh, dude, why can't you have cool boots? Why gotta have the poopy boots? Oh, there we go. This guy's rocking the good boots. He's rocking them good ones, baby. That's what I like to see. I Hopefully, we get a dismembered finger today. As weird as that might sound out of context, you know what I mean? This uh, event can drop a finger that unlocks a secret room over in the bunker. I like secret things, especially when they have good loot in them. And while that room doesn't have the greatest loot in the world, shouts out to Floppy Disk, you the real MVP over there. And maybe really good raids too, but... Whoa, 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 Jesus! Stop getting the jump on me like that. Oh my God, having a heart attack over here. Maybe that's just heartburn. I don't know, one of the two. My heart is feeling it, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and see what we can't feel up inside of this back of convoy, and maybe it'll be something good. Yep, I can get behind some of that, dude. Last raid we did, in case you guys didn't check it out, not to spoil too much, we walked out of there with so many cameras. I am the happiest camper across all of the freaking Boy Scouts, dude. Not even in the Boy Scouts. That's how you know my happiness transcends boundaries, all right, that have been put down, and my bullets transcend the rain that is armor because he doesn't stand a chance and hey we got a finger off the soldier every little lad like me's dream so shouts out to that and not to mention a little bit of the winchester that we still have yet to get no 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 we got a single mod for that thing so actually pretty freaking gucci if you ask me it wasn't even a good mod it was a pretty i think it just gave us like what plus one durability maybe but hey at this point, dude, given how desperate we were for a Winchester mod, the fact we even got one, that is a, that is a big old W 
up in my book, but unless there's maybe a chopper event here for us to hello, <laughs> uh, I will make the run over to a chopper. But I was about to say, let's go ahead on that raid. Ah, Miguel, you have a little bit more time, comrade. I'm still coming for you. Don't worry. But uh, I, have, I have business to attend to in the north. It is business of the chopper. Very good business. Lucrative. Usually comes with a couple guns. Come home. A couple weapons richer. Life is good. And life is about to get a little bit better. <laughs> Woo! That's what I like to see a little bit of that chop action. But yeah, after this, we'll be heading on to that raid. But still, dude, that gas station stuff we were seeing today has me so hyped because it was our first look at the NPC that is going to be inhabiting it. And I seriously think that Jack could mean big things for the game. And I want to see exactly what, dude, I, it still baffles me to this day. Like, it takes these guys a minute to realize that their friend has died. Actually, I don't think they've yet to realize that their friend has died. They're, they're, they're shocked, dude. They're not even moving. But they have uh, not quite yet realized that their buddy is dead. They're just kind of like standing there in shock. So, oh, there you go. Now he's running up on me. That other guy is also in shock, dude. These guys just do not know what to do until you get within their range. Luckily, once I get into the range, I'm lethal, baby. And look at that. Already getting one pistol richer than ever before. A little bit of hydration. Oh, dude. I thought my dude was about to start spreading some vitamin P on that deer. That would have been amazing. Actually, it wouldn't have. I think we might have gotten screwed because I don't think my guy would ever catch up to the deer. That could be a little bit problematic. You know what I mean? I uh, will go ahead and cop us a couple of those, of course. Cop a little bit of gasoline up in there. And uh, does this guy have anything good? Yeah, dude. How, he has SWAT armor. Really? I guess the helmet and that. I don't know. His pantalones in his shirt. Look pretty normal. I guess that kind of threw me off. Those are the two things that really look... They, they really have the biggest difference, you know? Let's keep on tossing those things up in there. And let's see what these choppers got in store for us. Because after all, these are usually the cream of the crop. Thank you for a little bit of SWAT. And why don't we start crossing our fingers here, boys and girls, that this other chopper right here might be contained in something. Let's freaking go. We got a red ticket on top of a Glock 17 with the single best magazine mod that you can have. A mod that I've yet to build as my stockpile of weapon parts continues to be stockpiled because, uh, well, I've, I've been kind of saving them for Winchester mods. Still waiting to get my hands on one of those, but not just that. Also because that active skill mod update does need to come out at some point, and that's going to introduce a whole ton of extremely rare mods that are going to be really, really good depending on which one specifically you're taking a look at. So definitely another thing that we are uh, trying to make sure that we are prepared for, but man, I don't know. Only thing that I can tell you guys if you want to be prepared, that notification bell was for real, dude. There's just so many dope survival games and games in general coming out that we are going to do a great job at covering, having a fan fantastic time with, of course, staying as up to date with Last Day on Earth as humanly possible. I really do try to the biggest extent of my humanity. And uh, yeah, best of luck in that giveaway as well, boys and girls, because Saturday is a coming up quick. But I got to go ahead and reorganize the inventory a little bit. And we got a raid that we need to uh, prepare for here. So talk to y'all. And it's like, and without further ado, the gravy train known as this raid is about to take off from the station. Please make sure that your hands and vehicles are within the vehicle. Just get uh, hands and legs and other limbs all within the vehicle because we are ready for a raid and things are about to get rocky. Not for us. Oh, we're the ones bringing the fun stuff. We're the ones bringing the C4. We're the ones bringing the hatchets. It just so happens that, uh, well, it's, it, it's, it's going to be a fun ride. Let's leave it at that. So just have that seatbelt strapped in it. Hey, speaking of responsible things you should be doing, if you got some water nearby, go ahead and take a quick swig of that. I just have these things over here temporarily in between adventures. I know that we got to clear them out, uh, which I'm going to call. I do uh, not leave stuff here while I do log off because I know for a fact that raiders do take things from there. I don't like having things taken from there. So, uh, yeah, but I, I know that that was probably going to come up. So I just wanted to address that very quickly. But, yeah, dude, if there's anything that you guys should be bringing up just for real, I want to hear what you got to say about this gas station because I really think that the NPC is just such a huge point of emphasis, you know, to see Jack and just what he's going to be able to do. There's just so much. And I, from what they're showing, man, I don't think he's going to be violent. I don't think he's going to be violent. I think that's where things really, really get interesting. And hello, guten tag, Mr. Bass. This is uh, 
und interesting base. Okay, Miguel. Is this, uh... Is this, is this your base, or is that just like a little... Like maybe like your little outhouse, you know, where you go to bathroom in. No, I, I think that is the entirety of Miguel's base. All right, Miguel, I really hope that you have something semi-promising in here, because uh, the promise is currently negative. Actually, I think it's hit record lows, dude. It's like the dead of winter right now, and things are just not looking toasty at all. They're at the coldest they've ever been. So this bumpy ride might just be a little, like a tiny little speed bump in the road. But... It's a speed bump filled with chess, so at the very, 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 very minimum, the very least, we do have that to look forward to. Let's hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Go ahead and get to chopping up in this bad boy. Try to see what, reveal what this second area has. Couple more chests. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have a lot of chests to choose from at the very least. We should be able to break into every single one of them, which is another great thing. Oh, oh my, dude. It's, don't get me wrong, the base itself is not impressive, but you gotta admit, uh, the, the other parts of the base do look a little bit promising, such as all of the chests chilling out and about. Yeah, definitely the chests. I'm a fan of those, for show, for show. Uh, why don't we try and see, let's start breaking through these. We're probably gonna have some enemies up on our booties after this, so let's get to spreading a ton of shock and rain, dismembering zombies left and right, and having ourselves a little bit of a giggle all along the way. Shotgun rain to you. What a floater bloater, number two. Uh, goodbye and death to you as well. So first one, not too promising, unfortunately. That one, dude, oh my god, a tree grew through that one. That's how you know something's really promising. Hey! A little bit of that. Mazel tov. I guess I'll take that. Uh, can I... Are we chopping the tree or are we chopping the chest? This better be the... Okay, we chopped down the tree first and foremost, and then the chest gets chopped. Talk about interesting having a chest right on top of a tree. Hey, We're walking out of here at the very least with a pistol that we did not walk in with, and we recovered the aluminum that we lost. We're also gonna... Should be able to get a couple nifty melee weapons. And here's a really nice thing. We don't have to use any, not a single C4, unless we're total dinguses, and only have C4 to break down these walls, in which case we might waste some C4, but we're gonna be walking out of this pretty nice, pretty all right, and uh, hopefully a little bit richer, which is uh, always good. Hold up, we got some enemies coming our way. I got some shotgun rain heading theirs, because we gotta take these schmucks out. Can't be having them bringing pain, death, and destruction upon us. That is, uh, that's what I deliver. And it's a little bit of a monopoly. I can't let y'all in on the business. Fluta blotas and toxic abominations, I'm very sorry to say. Let's see what these other chests got within them, and... Okay. Got a rain collector out here. Very, very collectible stuff we're finding. Yeah, sit, pupper, sit. Ooh, hold on, can I make you bark? Bark, boy, bark! Okay, I think that was me petting him. I, I... You, you want to bark there? I, I, I don't think our... Want to roll over? Hey, look at that. Puppy's rolling over. Oh, you adorable little thing. All right. Hey, is that really worth it? Uh, the gas station. Not gas station. The gas station's definitely going to be worth it. This isn't a gas station. No, it's just a gas canister. I don't know, man. It would make sense for that to have uh, the gas station to have a lot of gas canisters. At least that's what I think it'll be. In terms of, like, part of the loot that is pretty heavy on... I don't know, it just makes the most logical sense. Um, in terms of the loot of this space, however, it's just not making a lot of sense, period. I'm not finding what I'd like to see, and that's a little bit of a bummer, may I just say. I guess we could put... It doesn't really matter what we put away, either. Uh, today is a revenge raid, so it's not like we gotta share it with anyone. We're just kinda doing our own thing. Maybe I'll come back, steal some food. We still do have four chests to kinda keep our hopes barely swimming. Barely alive, and a couple of woodworking benches. Maybe those will have some, like, oak in them or something. And ooh, dokey. I, I think this might be promising. This is his most fortified part of his base. What's up, boys? Shotgun rain of plenty awaiting you. Boop. Oh, my God. 10 out of 10 on the cartwheel, dude. If I was an Olympic judge, you walking home with the gold. But for now, all you walking home with is, uh, is some lead up in your face. Or brought to you by the fan for fantasticness. No, the shotgun rain. What a toxic abomination. I got plenty coming your way, too. And, uh, what do we have over here? And let's freaking go. We're walking out of here with our M16 at the very least, which is good. And crossing my fingers that maybe something awaits in and no nothing awaits in that one and we'll see what the final chest has before we got to start worrying okie dokie 
I can go with some aluminum plates and I, I, I'll, t I'll take a single camera. With the quality of this raid so far, a single camera, a chance at a lens is actually a very, very nice haul compared to some of the other things we've been dealing with. I'll go ahead and grab me up some of those on top of it. I suppose we could get rid of the one that's about to break there. No need for that axe, really. This is kind of the last. Ah, oh, we got two more. Never mind. Uh, nothing super crazy up in this chest. Uh, good amount of planks. I, I, I guess I'll use some bandages. I'll leave them behind, dude. It, it, like, we, we have so many medkits. We're not going to be using bandages for a very long time. Despite the fact we do have some perks that make them heal slightly more, which is kind of nifty, but eh. Ain't really too much of a purpose for him for us, unfortunately. Drink up all the hydration we can. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's leave behind that freaking random wood we had to pick up for some schmuck of a reason. Uh, uh, seven first aid kits, though, that's pretty valuable in terms of this base and all the other random stuff it's offering. Um, 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 uh, anything else over here? No. Yeah, uh... Ah, let's at least fill up on the food. I think that's a minimum thing we could try and do out here. And, uh... I think we'll go and break those woodworking benches and just see what those can bring us. I think that's the uh, end game. The end goal of today. So maybe we'll walk home with a little bit of oak. Ooh, if there is oak. Let's, let's be ready to ditch those two. I think that's fair things to ditch. Iron hatchets for some oak. Eh, get it. Is a wise pump once said. Let's go ahead, put these in their fragile state, and YOLO! The big one's gonna be popping up soon. Okay, nothing worthwhile there, and definitely nothing worthwhile there. Goodbye and guten tag to you, Mr. Big One. And with that said, with that done, that's gonna end start wrapping up for this episode of Ooh La La. We're gonna be making a pit stop at an airdrop very quickly, too. But that's gonna end start wrapping it up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals in the giveaway. Make sure you go ahead and toss a like on the video. Let me know in that comment section down below your thoughts on this gas station. Not to mention being subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the last day on earth information update gameplay and news dope survival games we're checking out and to stay in the loop with that giveaway best of luck to you guys and gals get in the chopper gas take and join in the chopper squadron best of luck breed to your pups again the true friend perk level up your own perks and skills and over here through all those random zones not to mention find the best blueprints that you can and building up the very best attachments for the very best guns that you got best of luck protecting your base going out on the dopest of Raids, defeating all the boss of the game has to throw at you, getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic time all throughout. But let's go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching her. This was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.